Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Today I'm going to show you how to copy from SD cards and compact flash cards to solid state drives without using anything but an iPhone and a little hub and a battery. And that's what we're going to show you how to do today. To show you how to use only your iPhone with a bunch of cable and interconnects to copy pictures or video from compact flash cards or SD cards to solid state drives without using anything but a USB hub and a battery. So this is a pretty slick setup and it's just come available with iOS 13 on the iPhone. So this is huge. But before we get into that, if you wouldn't mind, just click the subscribe button. That helps me bring this information to you and it makes it much easier for me to do that. Thank you very much for hitting subscribe. So what's the whole deal here? Why would you care about not being able to copy files from SD cards and compact flash to a solid state drive in the field? Well. When you're out backpacking or hiking or climbing or adventuring or filming in the field or taking pictures, eventually you're going to start thinking, you know, these cards are starting to get really full, like real full. And I'm starting to stress that, oh my gosh, what if they die and I lose all of my footage? What am I going to do? So this is the exact problem I've had quite a few times where I've been filming for days in the backcountry and all of my filming, thousands and thousands of dollars of effort is on this one little chip or this one little compact flash card. And if that thing dies, I can't refilm, I can't return, that's it. So it's a major stressor for people who travel or film uh, away from laptops. So. Using your iPhone, I've got an iPhone XS. It's telling me to call my brother, of course. Uh, thanks, Apple. Don't need the update and information. But the new Files app right here, the new Files app actually allows you to copy from all these devices. So I'm going to show you the hookup and how to make this all work. It's pretty slick. I'm going to put links below to all of the devices in this setup so you can actually create your own and copy files using just your iPhone to go from SD card and compact flash to like this SanDisk Extreme 2 terabyte. This thing's crazy. So I'm going to tear apart the setup here and that way you can see how this all works. Now this does look like a bit of a crazy octopus, I have to admit that, but in order to get things to work that's the way it is. Now Apple does make a SD card reader that you can plug directly into your phone and copy from SD cards onto your phone, but you only have maybe you know, 64 gig or 128 gig, um, maybe 512. I mean, that, that, that would be a lot. It, it probably should have been smarter and just bought a larger phone, but that old $1,500 price tag was way too tough to swallow. So here we are for all of us regular folks. So what you have to have is, well, an Apple iPhone. You have to have one of the latest and it needs to have iOS 13 on it. That's where the magic happens. And then the next thing that you have to have, let me get all this junk out of here, is the Uni Hub. This particular hub allows you to hook up everything. I've tested it and it works. I'm, I do not receive money, endorsements, or products from Uni. I'm just showing you the things that I worked. Uh, I bought this straight off of Amazon. There's a link below, pretty easy. It comes with actually a Thunderbolt cable, but it's in the USB-C format, so uh, it, it, it's only USB, so uh, USB-C, and it's, it has a USB power in out, a USB 3, an HDMI. On the other side, it has a USB port, a SD card port, 
and a micro SD card port. So that's huge there too. So it has all these ports on there. So that's pretty slick, but USB-C does not plug into an iPhone XS. Maybe the new iPhones will, who knows? So theoretically, you can use a USB-C to lightning adapter, but I found that actually doesn't work. Typical. So what you have to do is you have to get the Apple lightning to USB 3 and power adapter. This is the magic that makes this all work. This cord does not work with the hub. I don't know why. It's kind of silly. Also, Uni in the instructions says you have to use their cable. You don't have to use their cable. I've tested and verified this and you will see it's working. So what I'm going to do is plug in this adapter to the phone here, pretty easy. And now I'm going to take off this USB-C adapter. And I bought some just high quality cable adapters off of Amazon. I'll put a link below to the cables because I know they work and they work pretty well. And you're going to take the first USB 3 to USB-C, this is a crazy adapter, and you're going to, or a cable adapter, or modifier, whatever the heck you call it, and you have to plug that into this port on the USB hub because that's a data port, okay? So far, so good. Now, in order for this to work, you have to have more power because the, the phone, your phone can drive the USB hub and potentially read an SD card. Okay, so on here you can see, oof, let me de-brighten that just a bit. There we go, so you can see there. So if I plug just this SD card into the compact, or into the port, you will see, and nothing's going to happen because there's not enough power through the hub and through this port. So what you have to do is you can actually put power into the port and it will run the SD card, but it will not run the or the solid state drive. So what I have is just a basic PNY battery pack with the USB port here, USB-A, nothing magical there, the USB-C, and now we connect that to the power only. Why they don't add data here, I don't know, but I don't make up the rules. I plug this in, we have plenty of power, and in a moment, hopefully, good. The SD card shows up, Sony RX uh, 100 VA, sweet. So now we can read this. Now I know this is pretty crazy, but this is where the magic comes in. So instead, uh, you will do this. This comes with a USB-C port. This is the SanDisk. 2TB Extreme Portable Drive, which only has a USB-C port, and you can connect that there. They do have a cable adapter, but I don't want to lose that in the back field, so I just prefer a straight up cable. And here you go, right? And all you do now is hook this in to the port here, click that in, and now you will see momentarily there we go. Now you can see the Sony RX100 SD card. You can see the Extreme SSD drive. And now I'm going to plug in, just to show you that it's totally possible, the Compact Flash chip as well. <laughs> so we're going to plug in the Compact Flash chip just to go crazy. All right, and that should show up eventually as a, a Nikon D300S card. And sure enough, there it is, the Nikon D300S. So pretty sweet. And just to prove this totally works and it's pretty crazy, I'm also going to copy from a micro SD card off of my GoPro. Yeah, I know it's a bit of an old GoPro here, but just to prove that this actually works, I'm going to take the chip out of the GoPro, and we're going to go all out here. We're going to load this sucker up. There we go. Okay. Yeah. 
And there we go. Wait for the camera to focus. Now we have the GoPro chip, the Nikon D300S. Uh, so the GoPro is the micro SD. The Nikon D300S is the compact flash. The Extreme SSD is the solid state drive. And the Sony RX100 is the SD card. So I literally have connected one, two, three, four different solid state type memories, compact flash SD, micro SD, and solid state drive all through my phone. Now you think, eh, that's no big deal, but here comes the magic. So if you go into, let's just copy the SD card, and I'm going to copy the folder that has a few pictures, nothing exciting. It's about 100 meg, press and hold, and then you hit copy, and we're going to go back, back. Now we're going to go into the extreme SSD, and we're going to create a folder just for fun. Press, hold, new folder, um, SD test one. Okay, cool. Now we're going to go into SD test one. I press, hold, release. I hit paste. Now, this is not a fast process. Uh, for some reason, the phone transfer through this particular port setup is pokey. It's about 120 megabytes per minute. It is really, really slow. So there you go. Now in the extreme SSD drive, oops, under test one, this folder, I now have pictures. Sweet. Now, why it's so slow, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe there's a bug in iOS, who knows? It, it's it's kind of pokey, but that's just the way it is. Uh, maybe it's a port setup. I don't know why the proper Apple cable that I spent a bunch of money on from Lightning to USB 3 doesn't work with this cable, but that's the way it is. So now I'm going to copy from my GoPro and we're going to go to DSIM, 100 GoPro, and that's, let's see, four, eh, six, so that, that's about 24 meg. So we're going to copy the GoPro folder, copy here, and this is how you copy from micro SD to the SanDisk Portable Extreme SD Test 1, press and hold, hit paste, and now we wait for the GoPro to copy down. So I literally, I could shoot on my Nikon D300S if I still was using it. I've got my 64 gig card that I was shooting on a camcorder with, and then I was doing some GoPro or even uh, Osmo Pocket camera. So I have now copied the GoPro into the Extreme SD card. Pretty freaking sweet. Now I'm going to go into the Nikon. And we're going to, eh, it's, it's got some pictures. This is going to take a while. So we're going to show you how long that takes. Copy. I don't want to do that. That's too slow. But uh, yeah, let's not do that. That takes too long. Nobody's going to sit here. So we're just going to copy a single file. Now on, on iPad OS, you can actually select multiple files. They haven't really got this down in the phone version yet, so we'll just do the copy here. And we'll go to the Extreme SSD and SSD paste, and then simply press and hold and paste. And there we go. I now have all the pictures and video that I wanted from my SD card, my compact flash card, and my micro SD card from a GoPro or an Osmo Pocket or your DJI uh, drone or whatever. So this literally is the ultimate setup where you can copy literally from anything to anything now. Now also, I want to show you that uh, th there is a bug in iOS. I did find a bug. And if you delete a folder, and let's see, so I'm gonna delete the GoPro 100. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But if you delete a folder 
and it shows deleted and we're going to go back to the GoPro and DSIM 100 GoPro we're going to copy that again and let's see if it happens sometimes this happens sometimes this doesn't even though you delete a folder this the phone thinks the folder is still on the drive so there is a problem with iOS that's uh, to be figured out let's see if it happens again paste okay so this time the folder was deleted I have had it happen where the phone says no there there's already the folder there I'm not exactly sure what's going on there is a bug on iOS so just be aware if you paste in a folder and then you delete it and then you go recopy and paste again the computer would you know wouldn't care but iOS still has a bug so hopefully they're going to work that out hello Apple just a heads up so there you go that is the ultimate setup for in the field you can now copy any camera SD car compact flash micro SD uh, to a portable uh, SSD drive I also did another video I will put a link below that you can actually hook this up to a regular hard drive using the power port in uh, in in the Apple adapter too all right one other detail is how do you eject the devices this is super important because on a computer you always need to go to the eject whether you're on a PC or a Mac because if you pull out a drive or a chip when it's being copied to you can actually damage the drive now there is no indicator of copying on files currently I wish there was but there isn't the SanDisk doesn't have an access LED the compact flash does have a reader or an indicator but the uni hub does not so it's kind of a shame so you just have to know and watch to make sure that everything is copied in here that nothing else is being copied in and that's your only indication that it is safe to eject the device so you literally just pull out the compact flash card here and it disappears and then you pull out the SD card and it disappears you pull out the micro and it disappears and then you unplug the SSD drive and it disappears so ejection is actually a little bit primitive uh, I, I don't like it because now I have to definitely watch to make sure that the copy happened I can't just do a quick little check hopefully they will put uh, Apple will put a little indicator saying file access just hang on please wait or cancel something to help us out in the future but that is currently how you eject devices in iOS 13 with the files app. I also did another video I will put a link below that you can actually hook this up to a regular hard drive using the power port in uh, in in the Apple adapter too that actually works so that was actually pretty dang slick so all this stuff simply allows you now to copy without a laptop without a PC without a Mac without a desktop computer an iMac iMac Pro Mac Pro whatever or Chrome any of those things to a portable drive in the field using your phone and only just one of these little batteries you know it, it's it's still cooking away just these are 10 bucks I'll put a link below and this little uni hub gets the job done uh, just note that for whatever reason the uni hub does not work with the lightning to USB-C cable I don't know why and of course you don't have uh, any ability to use this uni cable because there isn't a USB-C adapter for the phone yet because they don't have the adapter plus the power adapter that's the thing with Apple once they decided to to dump the 3.5 jack now you have to have an adapter to plug a 3.5 jack in and power you know whatever but anyway this is literally how you do that hopefully you found this very helpful I've definitely been super excited that to show you how to do this because I've been waiting for years I was almost getting so irritated I was gonna hire a developer to to do this just this exact thing just to be able to copy in the field so this is huge for people who use drones GoPros cameras camcorders everything in the field where you want to back up and you can back up on one of these portable drives 
solid state or on a regular small laptop external hard drive. So I hope this has helped you out very much. I know it's definitely been a boon for me as a professional traveler and filmmaker. It's huge. My name is Aaron Linsdown. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler and a filmmaker. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and also support me on Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. Thank you very much for watching.